Hey guys, this is George from The Roman Show here at the Gamer Expo in Miami, Florida at the Mac Expo, uh, well, Mac Center. Hey, and I'm here, of course, with actress from War of the Planet of the Apes. I'm talking about Amaya Miller. Did I say that right? I want Amaya to Miller, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, I'm actually, I didn't mess. You got it right. Yes, I actually did massacre a name for once. So, Mrs. Miller, how are you enjoying Miami so far? I'm doing great. I love it here. I used to live in Orlando and I came to Miami all the time. As a matter of fact, that's where you trained uh, for acting, if I'm correct. You, you, well, you first, train, uh, you first studied acting in Los Angeles and also in Orlando, if I'm correct, right? Yeah, I had my first auditions, my first bookings in Orlando, but I got so busy that I had to move to L.A. Gotcha, but gotcha. I love both. They're both my home. Well, I could only imagine Orlando was a fun place for you with the parks and all. Did you ever visit any of those parks? Yeah, we had passes to all of them. <laughs> I, I feel I'm, I'm jealous. So let's go ahead and start talking about War of the Planet of the Apes. Let me tell you something, Mrs. Miller. You're only about, I believe, I, well, I'm not going to put your age out there. But basically, you're such a young girl, you're, you're a young career, and all of a sudden, you took part in one of the most memorable, historic Planet of the Apes movie to date. As a matter of fact, out of all the movies of Planet of the Apes, War of the Planet of the Apes is the one that they talk about the most. How do you feel about it being so young? How do you feel that you were part of a history-making movie? It's crazy. I never would have thought that I would ever be in something this big. And I was actually a fan of Planet of the Apes. Before I even booked it, I would always watch the movies with my dad. And so when I found out that I booked it, it was so crazy. And now I'm here because of it. And I'm just so grateful. And on top of that, you're even featured on the poster of War of the Planet of the Apes. Yeah, we went to New York City for part of the press tour, and all the taxi cabs had the war, and I, I was on the back of Caesar, and that was one of the most surreal moments ever. I could only imagine that, like, I'm a big fan also of War of the Planet of the Apes, well, Planet of the Apes in general, even the classic to the, uh, to the new ones. And being you saying that you were a fan of the originals as well, going into these new ones, like, w do you feel like they b kind of, like, connected to the old ones? Like, do you feel that they stay true to the original movies? Yeah, I feel like there's bits and pieces that they have in common, but it's really its own thing. And War for the Planet of the Apes is my personal favorite. <laughs> you and many others. <laughs> so, but, but basically, let me also ask you one last question about War of the Planet of the Apes, and then we'll go into another subject. Uh, you know, this was a movie based on apes. You know, you were a mute character in the movie. You did not talk. You, as a matter of fact, ended up living with the apes, uh, you know, in this movie, a historic movie again. Like... How does, because one thing is working with a person, like any actor, actress in Hollywood. Another thing is working with CGI characters. Uh, was, is there, was there a difference when you were on, on camera? Did you feel like that difference? Yeah, I had to do every scene with the apes that were in, the actors in their mocap suits, and then I had to do it by myself with pieces of tape and do it the exact same way so they could put the apes in and still have me. It's, it's a lot, but they're all such amazing actors and actresses that like, you could really see the ape in them. And so they made it easier for me to really visualize it. Can you imagine if we ever lived in a planet like apes? Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> so my last question, like uh, I have to say, uh, you mentioned your dad earlier. Uh, as a matter of fact, you have some background in not just acting, but you also train in jujitsu and Muay Thai. Yeah. I would have never figured. No, and I like it. I think every girl should be able to defend herself. In, in that sense, yes, I 100% agree. Because in a world of a lot of women being victimized and all that stuff, I 100% agree and I support you in that. So, so 100% and especially equality. With that being said, how do, how do you feel about equality for women? Like it's, it's, being, it's growing everywhere from MMA to even professional wrestling to even acting. How do you feel where equality is standing right now? I think that I'm very happy how people are finally recognizing that women should be treated equally. And also in Planet of the Apes, Maurice is a woman. Her name is Karen. Girl power right there, I know. It's a woman that plays Maurice. You see my face? I'm not acting, folks. I'm the, even though she could teach me how to act, uh, I, I, she could teach me the real face of shock. But yeah, I'm, anywho. So last question, of course, I don't want to take you away from your fans here lining up to see you. 
last question. You being jiu-jitsu and Muay Thai, did you ever think about maybe even en entering an octagon in the future? I mean, you never know, but right now I got to protect the money maker. <laughs> I agree with you. I agree. So, hey, thank you so very much, Mrs. Miller. It was a fun uh, little question at the end there. Thank you so very much. Hey, this is George from The Roman Show signing off of, of course, Miss Amaya Miller. Make sure you catch her in her next movie, Anastasia, starring her and Brandon Roof. Make sure you catch it. This is The Roman Show.